Okay, so we have here the Arduino connected to a GSM module playground and we also have a motion sensor here as you can see we have covered it up so that it doesn't cover the entire region we also have here a mobile phone so what we have done is that whenever there is a motion here the light will go on and off and from the code as we can see here we have value i which is incrementing and here we have value i equal to 100 which means that when the value when the movements will reach 100 this blue light will turn off and we will have an sms signaling that the kit is moving we have done it 100 because the the detector motion detector checks every coordinate while moving so it doesn't just check our hand right here but it goes on and on until we move it back so it checks every coordinate and every coordinate is counted as a movement so right now we're gonna try to make 100 movements and we're gonna see here that the light is gonna turn off the blue light So 100 we think it's enough even for the baby movement because we don't want to make it too little so that not every single movement is alerting the parents. So right now we have reached 100 and we are supposed to get an SMS here saying that the kid is moving. Okay, so we have, we have done many tries here. Here we can see that it says the kit is moving so that's it more or less now the mother is notified and she can we can go on now and check online on the app and then make the movements to the so-called bat which is two lights connected to another Arduino but for the moment we're gonna leave it just like this this is the code the website see it's very simple first it's the connection with sensor monkey and then here are the functions so depending on which button we click the lights go on and off now this is a sensor monkey this is Arduino this is sensor. these are the tests that I have done so these are the latest commands that I have sent to the Arduino. Now if I just send it with one pair of numbers like 0, 0, it will move really slowly but it will only move once. And if I do it with two pairs then it will go, it will blink twice. And here, this is the bloom. Here I have made the connection with the Arduino. This is the port number that you assign by ourselves, by yourself actually. This is the frequency that we need, the USB port. So that's it more or less. I think I had here the Arduino code as well. Okay, so this is the Arduino code. As you can see, two LEDs, LED input output. So, if we get one zero, which was the first command, even though there is with two zeros, but that's a hexadecimal number, and here we have in you know, a binary form. I don't know why, but it works like this. And then for one, it moves it blinks a little bit faster so it's not one second it's half a second and for number two it's one quarter of a second so that's it more or less okay so last time we stopped here by testing the sensor monkey now we go on and we create an account at Justin TV. After we create the account, 
we connect our camera we play start now we are live broadcasting and we have also created our own site which is supposed to be played here we play yep that's it so now we have the website and we have the three buttons there and we don't want to hear my voice again now once we click one of the buttons we see that there is a movement in the back yep also let's click fast However, the Justin TV is a little bit slow. Yep, that's it. So, if let's make a comparison. Now, if we can see it from here, so the command is given faster, and then Justin TV shows us what's going on. <laughs> okay, that might be a little bit of a problem. Now we go to another site that we have. This is. A, a website that allows us to make apps uh, it's an app inventor for making apps mobile apps we have used this one to make our own app okay so we have created an app that will use an accelerometer okay so this is the app what the heck Yep, this is the app. So as we see, there are changes in the coordinates. So it shows what coordinates we have. And now if we click start, we'll have a connection established with the server. And the bed is going to start moving. Actually, the lights for the moment. We can move the phone. Yep. And if we click stop, Yep, the app is closed and now we should wait until all the commands are done because the more that we keep the app, the longer it stays and that's it. Thank you very much.